like every major Android update, Android tends to add lots of cool new features and changes to the table. And now as we all know that Android Oreo is the next big update of Android OS. But for the time being, this update is only rolling out for the Pixel and Nexus devices and we have to wait long for this update to hit our devices. But if you guys are impatient enough to try out some of the cool new Android Oreo features on your devices right now without rooting your devices, then you're watching the right video. The very first thing that you notice when you look at the phone's interface is the launcher. And the Android Oreo comes with the same Pixel launcher that was introduced last year. But this time they have done some improvements like now you will have something called notification dots that will basically allow user to see notifications they have missed without pulling down the drop down menu from the top of your screen. Additionally, a long press on an app with a notification dot will open a menu that looks like 3D touch of those missed notifications. To get this, you simply have to install an APK file of Android O Launcher which I'll be leaving in the description down below. Another great feature that is introduced in Android Oreo is called the adaptive icons through which you can change the icons into different shapes and you can get the same feature using an app called Adapti Icons. Adapti Icons is pretty flexible. You can resize the shape or the icon within and rotate the shape to get exactly the look you are going for. You can also fill the shape with color or turn into monochrome as well as replacing the original app icon with something entirely different. The only downside to Adapti icons is that it does not actually apply your customization system wide though without root access that is to be expected. Instead the new icons show up directly on your home screen once you are finished in the app and if you accidentally remove it from your home screen you need to start all over again. Now for the wallpaper you can use the download link from the description down below and just apply it. Now, if you take a closer look over your home screen and the Android O home screen, then you will find that it looks almost identical and to achieve this, you haven't rooted your device. Now, let's move forward and get the so-called picture-in-picture mode of Android Oreo which basically lets you play YouTube videos on a floating window while you are multitasking. You can get this feature by just installing an app called Floating Tube from the Play Store and for this, you don't need to be rooted. You can simply trigger the floating window by just opening the app and playing any video. After using this app, I was pretty surprised at how well it works. You can also move the floating window anywhere you like and you can also resize it. Another cool feature that Android Oreo introduced is the snooze notifications. Whenever you receive a notification, just swipe the notification to right and tap this clock icon to snooze the notification. This will make the message go away for 15 minutes then come right back when the time is up. And I find this feature very handy if you get lots of notifications throughout the day just like I do. You can also get this feature or I should say kind of. By using an app called N History, you can snooze your notifications. For instance, if you get a notification and you don't want to check out it yet, so just tap this to view the history and from here you can snooze the notification for whatever time you like or you can also set a custom time for that notification. Now there is also a non-rooted method to get the Android O navigation button in case you are interested. To get that, install an app called Pixel Navigation Bar from Play Store. Once installed, open the app and activate it. Now from here, you just have to align and resize all the three keys to fit the screen just like this. Once done, you can clearly see the difference that now it looks quite similar to Android Oreo's navigation bar. With every major update, Android is trying to improve the Android experience by implementing lots of new features. This time they have added a feature that will automatically enable your Wi-Fi when you are in a range of any saved network. And the good news is that you can get this feature too by installing an app called Smart Wi-Fi Toggler which is a free app in Play Store. After you have installed this app, go through with the initial setup and all you need to do is to start the service. This app learns your behavior and improves its accuracy with time. This app can even turn off Wi-Fi when you move away from a saved network. So guys, these are some Android Oreo exclusive features that you can get right now on your Android devices and the best thing is that you don't need to be rooted. If you want to get other Oreo features like notification bar, setting menu, custom nav bar, then you need to be rooted and I have made a separate video for that which I'll be linking in the description down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do, then do consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.